Good morning to all my Instagram and Facebook peeps. It's your boy Cusick here. And it's Monday. So I'm going to bring you a little bit of Monday motivation. A little food for thought. Something that's been kind of weighing on my mind. And it's 2023. And you know we're halfway through the month of February. And yesterday, uh, my baby girl, she ain't little some more. She uh, turned 15. And just with life and everything else just really got me thinking goals you know like what do I want to accomplish what do I want to let interfere and affect my mind and what do I want to put my time towards you know and uh, it had me thinking back to this army vet named Derek Wida and uh he lost his leg overseas, uh, got blown up, and as a Marine vet, you know, like, veterans hold a special place in my heart, so usually when a veteran speaks or talks about something that resonates with me, I kind of hold on to that, and what he said was basically your three-foot circle, you know, three-foot circle. And that made me think about my drill instructor in boot camp. He used to always hold his arms out, one arm's distance, one arm's distance. Don't ever get within one arm's distance because you might get jacked up. But with that being said, Derek Wilder talked about, I don't worry about anything outside of my three-foot circle. Anything within my three-foot circle, I'm going to worry about. And you can apply that to many things. And what he was talking about, everybody was like, what do you think about this, politics, what do you think about this? And he's like, I really don't give a fuck. And that's basically, you know, how I've lived my life almost. But sometimes we get distracted. Sometimes we let certain things come in and bother us. And really, at the end of the day, it's, it's not your problem. And uh, I've said it on jobs before to general contractors. Hey, we need you to, like, no, that's not my problem. It's not my contract. Life, we've let distractions come in. And as much as you want to help, as much as you can do something, you feel like you need to, it's not your problem. Worry about your three-foot circle. And also going into 2023 is my wife and I have six children. We have cows, we have pigs, we got chickens, we got ducks, we got rabbits, like... Everything we're doing is to be self-sustainable. There's so many things coming out now more and more with the food, processed food. Dyes in cereal that you feed your kids have poisoned them. Like these things are coming out. Foods that kill men's testosterone. So we're trying to get to a sustainable point in life to where we're not relying on garbage food. We're eating food that we raise, food that we grow, food that we know what's going into our bodies, what's going into our kids' bodies. Try to control what is going into their mind. We had a situation with our oldest daughter when it came to high school. She's a freshman in high school, and the group of people she was surrounding herself was poisoning her mind with just garbage and dumb shit that young girls feel the need to involve themselves in, and they really don't because it's not your problem. So everything we're doing in life is trying to set a good example for our children trying to set them up for success you can't cram it down the throat oh uh, you know we have three teenage girls and we're learning as we go and at the end of the day man is just do the best you can set the best example you can surround yourself with people that are going to set you up for success surround yourself with people that are like-minded, you know, get rid of the negativity. And one of my biggest things going into 2023 is being rooted in God and rooted to my wife. Both of them are my rock. God is my rock. He's helped me through situations. There's been situations where I've prayed for patience and strength and then thrown into situations where my patience was tested and my strength was tested and then I laugh at myself because it's like you just prayed for that you know and when it comes
comes to my wife, she has had my back in so many things, so many endeavors, and I feel like there's no way that I can really repay her, except trying to be the best person that I can be, and be understanding and everything that's going on with her. We've gotten so deep into talks, and uh, our relationship, and with our children, and at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what our kids do, as long as me and her are solid, and we come up with a solid game plan on how to attack whatever problem is presented before us, we know through past experiences that we can overcome anything. And that's really my mindset going into 2023 is positivity, God, three foot circle. If it's outside of my three foot circle, I don't care. The China balloon, I like joking about it because it's, it's funny, not funny, but I can't control that. Sam Smith at the Grammy, I really don't fucking care. Uh, let's see what Biden, I can't control that, don't care. I do, but I don't. Worry about you. Stay in your lane. Focus what's inside your circle. That being said, y'all have a blessed day. Love y'all. And remember this. Love does not fail. Love always prevails. Cusick out.